Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today we're going to be talking about just how nice the weather is here in the United Kingdom along the coastline. Just take a look at that. We've got some beautiful blue skies. We've got the sun shining. We've got waves crashing about. It's sort of like Barbados, isn't it? Now I've got that off my chest, which I wanted to share with you. Let's carry on with the video about my power bank, which I purchased out of my own money around one month ago. This is not a paid promotion. I'm not being sponsored, I'm not being endorsed, I'm not being paid backhanders to pedal this. It's not like other YouTubers when they get sent something free of charge and then given a script and being paid to talk about all the amazing positive things. Um, this is literally my own review because I've had people asking me about my power bank and they wanted to know more. So me being me, I'm a nice person. I thought, why not? Let's, uh, let's talk about it. And now that weird guy over there has walked off and stopped watching me make this video, uh, it's a good time to crack on. <laughs> I think the first thing we'll do, we'll talk about why I bought it. Now I needed uh, a power bank for my garage because I work on my old retro bikes and stuff. And because I don't have any mains power in there, I can't really see what I'm doing. So I thought the only solution is, is put some 12 volt lighting in. And then with the 12 volt lighting, I can plug it into this unit it and then I've got power all I do is take this home charge it up and then go to my garage I also got it so I could charge my camera equipment um, my laptop my phone everything when I'm out and about making videos and also I can take it away camping with me if I do like a weekend in the van this is going to be sufficient so that's my reasons for buying it it's probably similar to yourselves if you're looking to buy one it does literally everything I need it to do so yeah really happy with it so let's quickly talk about the specs it's uh, lithium <laughs> when I say specs I was thinking of glass instead <laughs> um, it's 52,000 milliamp hour it's lithium powered so it's got lithium batteries in it so we've got lithium battery in there we've got 52,000 milliamp hours um, which is equivalent to 52 amp hours now we've also got 150 watt power output on the 230 volt AC so it's perfect for laptops and stuff like that um, I use it for my laptop it's handy and the other thing why I wanted this one is because it's so compact look how small it is it's bloody tiny got a lovely little leather handle on there which you can just walk down the beach if you want to take it down the beach and pump your tunes out all day um, I did actually take this to the pub with me the other week I went for like a roast dinner and people in the pub, I think they were laughing they thought I was mad because I had this on the table along with my roast charging me and my mate's phone up um, but it's perfect I'll put it in my backpack if I'm out on the bikes um, I've always got power so yeah really good right so now I've explained that let's show you the front of the unit we have on and off button you hold that down to turn the unit on and you can see on the uh, LCD display, it's got a little backlight on it. it, says you've got 12 volt there and then you've got USB so that means you've got power to both these bits here. If you press the power button again once we've got AC so that means if I was to plug my laptop into here um, it would start charging. If you press that once more it turns the AC off so obviously it's not wasting power when it's not being used. We've also got a LED light as you can see look at that blinding and then we've got press it once more SOS so if you're out walking your dog and you happen to fall down a ditch and you've got your power bank on you um, hopefully <laughs> by pointing it up at the sky like that hopefully someone's gonna see it and come to your rescue so let's press that turn it off for a minute then we've got 12 volt outputs here now what I use the 12 volt outputs for is the lighting in my garage and also my van um, all you do is get the little uh, jack plugs for it and plug it in I'll just go and grab them now so you can see Right, here's a lead which I made myself, but these little 12 volt, I'll just take the, my special tape off. Because <laughs> um, some people might not actually know what the 12 volt plugs look like. So these little adapters here, you've got your positive and negative, and then that, plug that in like that, and then the other end into your device, all good. So this lead is what I made up for my light in the back of the van. If I'm away for long periods of time, or if I'm camping for a weekend, I can plug that into the light. So yeah, just to recap, 230 volt, three USB points, and then we've got two 12 volt outputs, which I use for my lights and auxiliary devices, whatever. You've got your light and your SOS flash there, input, your power input, and then the display is obviously battery status bar there. Obviously when that goes down, you know when it needs charging. Um, when you charge this, you have to also make sure that you unplug it when it's done. Don't just leave it on charge because it will continuously charge evidently. So you have to unplug it when it does go full. You don't want to ruin the batteries on it. So <clears throat> here's the leads that it comes with. You've got your standard power supply, which you plug into your plugs at home. That goes straight into the unit there. It doesn't take long to charge either. I'm sure I've had a full charge out of this in about three or four hours. Um, from zero. We've also got the cigarette lighter one 
which you can use to charge the power bank whilst you're out and about in your car or van or truck. Plug that in there, state of my leads down. <laughs> there you go. It's even got an LED light on it and you can see that that is charging my power bank. This is really good. So if you're going on a trip, if you're away and you want some extra power, obviously if you're driving a long journey, a good few hours in the car, that's gonna charge it up. So really good. You can also charge it with a solar panel. Now it comes with the lead. It obviously doesn't come with a solar panel. So you can plug that in there, get your solar panel. Um, I'm gonna look into that option, maybe for the summer, because obviously if I'm out camping in the van for a weekend or whatever, I can plug the solar panel into it and that's just, yeah, really good. Like, that's, <laughs> to me, that's, it's pretty surprising that it comes with that, really. Um, and then also, the other lead it also comes with is a cigarette output uh, lead. So this is gonna be really handy for me. I've got a 12 volt shower, which has like a cigarette plug end on it. Um, so I can just plug that straight in and power my shower. That rhymed. <laughs> uh, yeah, really good. So there are all the leads that it comes with. You've got a range of options if you want to charge it from your solar panel, if you want to charge it in the car whilst you're driving between destinations, especially if you're traveling for a long time, and also charge it at home. Now, on a full charge, I'll just explain to you how long I get. In my garage, I've got three LED like strip lights, same as what I've got in the back here, and I've got two little spotlights. If I have all of those five lights on, for around seven, eight hours, whilst charging my cameras, my GoPro and my Sony, because this thing keeps dying, the battery and it's useless, and also my phone, I will still walk out of my garage at the end of the day with two bars left on the display, which is really good. So it lasts me plenty of time. I imagine if I was away camping and I'm just gonna be charging my phones, cameras, and this light in here, I reckon I'd easily get two days on it. All I can say is, for the money and convenience, it's really worth it. Like I say, I paid £135 for this in the Black Friday sale. I think usually they're around £160. There are different like named ones of this unit, so I think it's pretty much the same unit, but they've just got different like names on the side of them. Now, the other thing I was gonna say is, this has actually saved me a lot of time and money on putting a leisure battery in my van. Um, obviously, if you've got a big motorhome and stuff like that, it's not gonna be sufficient just to power your whole van. But for me, in my caddy, I don't need to waste my time putting a leisure battery in, I don't need to put a split charge system in, I don't need to put a control panel and electrics and all that. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense. So I've saved a lot of time and money just by having this. Also, I've just read the spec, it says it's got 2,000 power cycles on it, which is a hell of a lot in my opinion. And also a 10 year battery life, is it? So maybe it'll last 10 years, who knows? Um, I've had lithium batteries on power banks and stuff last me probably about five years. So I use them heavy though, like my stuff gets a lot of use. So for the last month that I've had it, it's been really good. It's a nice little unit. It's not in your face. It's compact, it's neat. It's got a nice carry handle on it. The only thing that I don't like about it, if you're wondering, is when you're finished with it, it doesn't recognize that nothing's attached. So you do have to make sure that you hold the button to turn it off. That's about it, like, there's nothing else I can say I don't like. Uh, great unit, I'll put a link in the description if you would like to buy one yourself. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I hope you found it useful. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, let me know what power bank battery generator is that you use and how you charge it. And also, if you've got the same one, how long have you gone camping for and used it for? I'd be quite interested in that. And I'll see you all again soon for the next video. Bye for now.